Background screening made simple. Well done, your efforts have paid off and you've been offered the job. But before you can get started, your recruiter mentions the offer is subject to a background check or a vetting check. Wait, a what? What is background screening? It's simply a check to make sure the information you have provided to your current or future employer, let's just call them the employer from here on in, is correct, confirming you have the experience and expertise you said you had. Being re-screened as part of your current or new role within your organisation? Don't worry, this process applies to you too. The background screening process will involve some work from you, supplying us with certain documents. This might include a copy of your passport and your certificates of education, as well as details of your work and address history, depending on the checks to be completed. But this can be done quickly online. The easiest way for you to get through your background check is to be honest, be accurate and be thorough with the information that you provide. If you are being recruited, incomplete or inaccurate information may increase your time to hire, which could even delay your first payday, and nobody wants that. So why is it necessary? Businesses may do this for a number of reasons, including compliance, Equality, making sure all candidates are treated fairly in the recruitment process. Protecting the company from the cost of a bad hire. For example, would you want to have someone in your team who couldn't do the job because they'd not been honest about their experience or education? But I thought, we know. People often think background screening is something it isn't. So here are a few things you should know about background checks. New job. Your employer isn't trying to find reasons not to hire you. You've got this far already, and they really want you to pass your screening without any issues. You can also withdraw from the process at any point, if you choose to. You won't be asked to provide information that may be considered sensitive or protected characteristics, such as your race, religion or sexual orientation. It's not like in TV or films. We don't have access to a big centralised database that contains everything about you. Unfortunately for us, it's not that simple. We don't tell the employer whether or not to hire you or make any recommendations. That's all down to them. It's our job to verify the information you've provided the employer is factually correct. That's it. Suddenly, it's not so scary anymore. What exactly will my background screening check consist of? Background checks are not a one-size-fits-all. Your screening may include a number of different checks, depending on the company, their industry and the job role. The type of checks completed are determined by the employer. Here are the most common background checks conducted. Employment history. Why? To make sure that you have the work experience that you claim. What? Employment dates job titles and employers' names. The time period or number of roles covered varies by employer. How? We check these details with your previous employers to ensure accuracy. Education history. Why? To make sure that you have the education qualifications that you claim. What? Study dates, institution names, course titles and levels and grades obtained. This may cover only your most recent qualification, the highest level attained, or all higher education qualifications. How? We contact each institution directly or use an automated online verification tool to verify that these details are correct. ID check. Why? To check that you have a valid form of government-issued ID. What? A form of ID such as a passport or driving licence. Other forms of ID are accepted. How? The ID is checked against official sources to prove that it is a valid form of ID. Criminal check. Why? To see if you have any reportable criminal convictions, which may affect your ability to undertake a role or exclude you from a role due to legal restrictions. What? A criminal record check based on your full name, date of birth and location. For example, where you have lived or where you have applied to work. How? Countries have different regulations, 
So where local laws permit, the information you provide is checked against government sources, such as police records or local government ministry databases. Financial integrity. Why? For certain jobs, it may be required that you undertake a check regarding your financial integrity. We refer to this as a credit check. This is to ensure that you don't have a history of bad credit. It could impact your ability to do the job. What? Where lawful, a credit check will return any reportable history of bad credit. For example, county court judgments, CCJs, bankruptcies, or other adverse financial situations. How? We will verify your information using a variety of sources through a number of local vendors. How long will my background check take? The duration of your background check will vary depending on your background and the different checks that are part of your potential employer's screening package. We verify information with a range of different sources, so we rely heavily on their response times. But don't worry, we know how important this is and do everything we can to make the process as quick and easy as possible. What happens in the screening process? The screening process is actually quite simple. Here are the six steps to passing your background check. 1. You receive a job offer, subject to passing a background check. Good work! Or your employer contacts you regarding a re-screen. 2. The employer will request your background screening. We will then send you an online applicant invite for you to provide us with the details needed to run your background check. Before filling this in, we will provide you with an information notice tailored to the checks that are included and providing important facts on how we will fulfil your screening. If the employer uses an applicant tracking system, ATS, some of this information may already be auto-populated for you. 3. You fill out the applicant invite on your computer, laptop, tablet or in some cases mobile device, uploading any supporting documentation requested, providing your consent to use your data as described and then submit it to us. Make sure you have all the documents to hand before you start. 4. We start your background check right away. If additional information is required in order to run a particular check, we will get in touch with you directly to request this information. The employer will only receive the finished background screening report once the process has been completed. 5. Once your check is complete, your screening report is sent to the employer for their review. If it's a new job, it is the employer's decision whether or not to hire you. We do not offer hiring recommendations. 6. The employer will then get in touch with you to confirm your job offer or to discuss your screening results. We hope this video has made you feel a bit more informed about the screening process. If you have any other questions about your background screening, please check out our candidate FAQ pages or speak with your potential employer about them. New job, good luck and congratulations again on your new role.